hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content i hope you enjoyed the previous video on the red flags in a job ad i mentioned also that i'm going to be sharing with you red flags to look out for in a bad employer so in today's video I'm going to share with you tips to look out for before joining any organization so that you save yourself the terrible experience. You know, some of us have experienced it. I've known other people who have also experienced it. And just by watching this video, you save yourself, you know, all those things. You also don't have to go through it. You know that situation where you've searched for a job for so long and you finally got on you're so excited you shared with everybody your friends and family and then you get to the job and two weeks down the line you ask yourself what have i done what have i gotten myself into this video is going to save you that so you watch this video and share with your loved ones so that they avoid that situation now let's dive right in what should i look out for before joining any organization. Tip number one, the employee life cycle begins from when you haven't even entered the organization at all. Most people think that the employee life cycle begins during onboarding or orientation. No, but the applicant experience begins right from when a job goes live and people begin to apply for it so red flag number one when your interviewer gives you 10 a.m for an interview and as at 12 p.m you are still waiting for the interviewer and then when they arrive they make you feel that we are even doing you a favor by setting up this meeting i always tell people that interviews are a two-way street affair they are looking for someone to fill a role and you have the expertise to do that so they need something from you as much as you also need something for them it's not a situation where disrespect should be displayed either ways so for the applicant they give you 10 you show up at 10 13 you have 30 excuses why that is the case so you go for an interview, they give you the time. The interviewer is there before the time waiting. It's like everyone is expecting your arrival. That's what it should be. If the employer is ridiculously late and doesn't see any reason to offer an explanation or an apology, it's a huge red flag. Run. Tip number two, anytime you get the opportunity to interview in, a, in an organization, we always advise that you arrive there earlier. And aside the fact that that helps you to relax, beyond that, it just helps you to scan your environment. And you know, you're sitting there at the reception, there's a lot of things that can happen whilst you are there. So just Put your ear to the ground and just listen you'll be able to pick cues from what kind of culture prevails over there look at the time employees come in you know usually work will start at 8 8 30 9 o'clock just look at the time most people so by between 8 and 9 most people are supposed to have arrived ahead of time and energized to start the work day so you just observe the times people walk in the attitude what kind of energy they come in with even as you arrive there what kind of reception did you receive was it warm was it welcoming or was it just passive and disengaged you know you need to look out for tips like that now just look at the language when whilst you are sitting there you'll be able to even tell who the manager is and who the, his direct reports are you'll be able to pick use like that how is the language is it how how do they communicate is there respect among the people what are they saying about their 
organization so things like that should let you know what kind of you may not have the full picture but there are these little little things that make you think that should that should make you think about the kind of environment i'm going to plug myself into one bad employer can set back your career you don't want that to be your experience it's still talking about environment so you enter an organization and you realize that there's segregation the managers en enjoy higher privileges than the employees i once experienced that i went into an organization for an interview and i said i needed to use the restroom and the lady showed me oh no these are for the employees and these are for managers and I, I, when i went i just decided to take a peek and it was just terrible you know the difference between what managers are using and every, every employee is an employee and should all be treated with the same level of um respect so you see something like that that should tell you that hey there's going to be huge discrimination in how people are treated there and trust me you don't want to find yourself in a place like that so that is a huge flag that should make you look for the door red flag number three there are certain basic questions that you should um expect in an interview and most of these questions are supposed to speak to the job and your ability to perform it or otherwise now when the questions are going a bit overboard questions that are illegal questions that make you uncomfortable you should know that that's a huge flag let me give you an example so an interviewer asks you are you married are you planning to get married are you planning to start a family very soon how, how is that even related to the job in question how is my marriage and my wanting to start a family related to the the job it could be for a number of reasons first they are looking for someone who probably has no intentions of starting a family or doesn't have a family so they can really overwork you and you you don't you don't have the luxury to use your family or maybe taking care of a kid or something like that as an excuse secondly maybe they are not interested in paying for your maternity leave so you are home taking care of your newborn for three months and then for all those three months they would have to be paying you or if there are certain benefits that come with you know being in a family situation or being a family person they are unwilling to commit to such benefits that should tell you that hey this employer is not interested in me as a person is only interested in what i'll be able to do that employer is never going to be committed to work-life balance which is a huge thing that organizations who are forward looking are very much concerned about so you do not want to be partner with an organization like that again i would say run the next red flag i need you to look out for is that you are interviewing and you've done your research you know what you can do your capabilities and you've come to have a conversation about you know the job and then when it gets to salary then this organization is paying you ridiculously less than what the market rates requires you know there are certain organizations that depend on their budget they will pay a little bit below the market rate yet you know are committed to making improvements and adjustments whilst you demonstrate your ability to grow in the role and things like that however this organization just tells you that hey this is how much we are paying we are not going to do anything about it this is how much we have and there's no room for negotiations they don't value your skills and you know most of most employers who put their best foot forward during the interview and then sometimes you enter the job and you you, you get the shock of your life but if even at the beginning stages they can demonstrate to you that we do not value your skill and are willing to pay you for what you deserve that should tell you what you should expect whilst you're on the job you you need logistics to work 
they will never be committed to providing those and they would come back to condemn you to make you feel terrible and incompetent but you don't have the tools that you need to do the job for an organization like that you would want to take the door the next thing you want to look out for is a mismatch in the job that was advertised and the conversation happening in the interview room so they tell you that we are looking for what maybe a manager for so so and so you come into the interview room and then they are talking about someone who have oversight responsibility who design strategy and vision and all that and that's a director level role and they've seen that you are able to handle a role like that yet they are looking for a manager so what will happen is that you will be doing the director's job and you'll be earning what the manager is supposed to earn that mismatch is a very frustrating situation because you realize that your plate is full your responsibilities are a lot and you are never going to be compensated the way you should be you do not want to be a partner with an organization like that please run the final tip i want to share with you is that there are so many resources that help us know what people are saying about an organization especially those who have experienced it firsthand just google them read about them in the news you know but beyond that go to let if you are looking for a job let glassdoor be your friend you go there just search the organization now you have to be careful because people usually put reviews on glass the when they've had a very bad experience and they are feeling upset and angry and then they put you know they vent on glass door but this is what i i need you to do just read a thread of reviews and see if there's a common um a common theme running through all the reviews people are giving for example the organization is a very chaotic place and everyone is giving that review then you should know that 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 view cuts across is something that actually happens so go to glasgow and go and see are people fired anyhow for no reason for example you wake up one day you go to work you come back home the following day you are going back and you don't know whether you still have your job or not people are always resigning especially maybe for a particular role people just are resigning and the reviews there are just not the best for an organization like that you need to run so there you have it red flags to look out for before joining an organization so that you don't go there and you're just frustrated and unable to perform in the way that they require you to take your time check all these things out and make sure that these are not the situations that you are plugging into thank you so much for watching today's video let me know what you think have you experienced situations like that how did you handle it please like comment subscribe and share and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified in our next series of videos. Thank you so much.